the PNP will strictly enforce the enhanced community quarantine throughout Luzon in coordination with the local government units, particularly in Metro Manila, Region 3, and Calabar Zone, and in localities with high or increasing COVID-19 infections. Foremost, there will be no more warning for ECQ violators. Instead, arrest and inquest procedures will be applied to cases of violation of Republic Act 11469, 11332, as well as Article 151 of the Revised Penal Code. These violations of law carry it with it appropriate penalties and fines, but what will be more burdensome for violators are the tedious judicial process and the implications of a derogatory record to their personal criminal profile. Based on our latest figures on ECQ violators from March 17 to date, there were 98,986 violators warned, 6,000 were fined, around 31,000 were arrested, in which 2,467 are still detained, with 24,248 cases filed for a total of 136,000 517 ECQ violators for the past 35 days of the enhanced community quarantine. During this period, there are also 732 persons arrested in hoarding, profiteering, and manipulation of prices of basic goods and 9,419 public utility vehicles drivers apprehended. I have also authorized the deployment of 12 teams of Special Action Force, totaling 116 personnel to strategic locations initially within Metro Manila to augment the local PNP units in the intensified enforcement of ECQ starting today. <laughs>